Mastering emotions in writing. Express yourself through words. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a key aspect of effective communication, conveying emotions and feelings in your writing. This is particularly relevant when it comes to writing emails or letters for personal use, where our words need to reflect our thoughts, attitudes, and emotions. Mastering this skill can truly bring your writing to life and help you build strong, meaningful relationships with your readers. So let's dive in and explore how to express your feelings in writing. The tone and mood of your writing play a crucial role in conveying emotions and feelings. Tone refers to the attitude of the writer, while mood refers to the feeling the reader gets from the writing. By being aware of your tone and controlling it, you can help your reader understand your mood and feel what you are feeling. Think of tone as the voice of your writing. Is it friendly, formal, sarcastic, or humorous? It can change how your reader interprets the words on the page. On the other hand, the mood is the atmosphere your writing creates. It can make your reader feel happy, sad, tense, or curious. Let's try an exercise. I am writing to let you know that I cannot attend the party. Now compare it with, I am so sorry, but I can't make it to the party. The first sentence feels more formal, and the emotion isn't quite clear. The second sentence, however, conveys a sense of regret and apology, creating a different mood. Words are the primary tools we have to express our emotions in writing. Therefore, choosing the right words is crucial. For example, saying, I'm feeling happy, can express a general positive emotion, but saying, I'm feeling ecstatic, conveys a more intense, specific feeling of joy. Also, try to avoid overusing certain words. If you use happy to describe your feeling in every email, it might lose its impact. Instead, try to find synonyms or other ways to express the same feeling. Content, pleased, thrilled, are all variations of happy. In personal emails or letters, the use of punctuation and emoticons can significantly help convey emotions. A simple exclamation mark can express surprise or excitement while a question mark can show confusion or curiosity. Also, emoticons like smiley face or sad face can express happiness or sadness, adding an extra layer to your writing. Remember to use punctuation and emoticons judiciously. Overusing them might make your writing seem informal or unprofessional, so it's best to stick to appropriate contexts. That wraps up our discussion on conveying emotions and feelings in your writing. Remember, your words are powerful tools that can evoke emotions, create moods, and truly connect with your readers. So don't be afraid to express yourself. Keep practicing and experimenting with different tones, words, and punctuation. I hope this video has been helpful and illuminating. Happy writing!